Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ryan from Team Lead Airsoft, and today I'm going to give you guys a review on my KJW M9 Full Metal Gas Blowback Airsoft Pistol. Just for me. So before I get into the uh, review itself, I just want to go over a couple quick things. Um, so first of all, I want to go over the history of the KJW series here. The M9 series has been going on uh, for over a decade now actually. And there are a variety of different KJW M9s that you can get. There's military versions and government versions and stuff like that. They're basically all the same. Next thing I want to talk about real quick is where I got the gun from. Many people will tell you that they ordered it from uh, evike.com. They sell this gun for $105 and it comes with a green gas mag. I bought mine from a website called shortyusa.com and they sell the uh, same pistols for uh, $130 with $4 shipping. So now let's get into the review. If you enjoy CQB, this is the perfect pistol for you. The FPS depends on what gas you use. So if you're using green gas, it will shoot at about 330, uh, 320, 330. But if you use uh, CO2, it will raise the hop up to 340 to about 355 so if you want to use this in CQB it's very risky to use the CO2 mag the range on this gun is really good um, I'm gonna show a, a quick clip here and uh, this is my longest kill with the gun so far I've only used this gun like twice it does have that kind of range another thing guys they made this gun really realistic the weight is two pounds as for its dimensions um, it's 8.5 inches long with a barrel of 5 inches and the height is 5.25 inches. Okay guys, so this is what the box of the gun looks like. Um, I've seen another one. Maybe it's for a different version of the KJW, but anyway, this is my box that I received for it. So when you open it up, um, there's a styrofoam mold for everything, and you'll notice that there are two pamphlets um, for other KJW guns. It's pretty cool. There's a couple stuff, 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 yeah. And then this is the manual for the gun. It's pretty cool. I know for some reason a lot of people like to point out the cartoon in the beginning, so I will too. And anyway, um, they give you a sample BBs. There's a hundred that fit in this box. And then you will notice that there are a couple things missing. Um, so I've owned this gun for a while now. And I'm missing the allen, there's like this tiny allen wrench for adjusting the hop up and there's this really really weird uh, speed loader um, honestly the speed loader is really bad that comes with this gun so I just recommend getting the uh, standard speed loader inside the gun is the green gas mag this mag houses 26 rounds including the one in the chamber of the gun Oh, so this is everything that comes with the e-bike, and since I got the uh, CO2 package from shortyusa.com, you get everything you see here, plus CO2 magazine. It will come in a cardboard box, and when you take it out, it, will, it looks a little bit more bulky than the green gas mag. I have a CO2 cartridge in there right now, it doesn't come with anything, so you have to get your own CO2 cartridge. The CO2 mag itself comes with a manual of how to put the CO the CO2 cartridge in. Alright guys, so 
Uh, now this is gonna be the main part of the review. I'm going I'm going to go over the features of the pistol. So let's start out at the orange tip here. You might notice it's a little bit bright. Of course, it's an orange tip. It's gonna stand out. But when you're using this gun, uh, you don't really notice it too much. I mean, it's facing away from you, and it, you know you barely see it anyway. It's not a threaded barrel, by the way. But there are some KJWs that I saw on ShortyUSA.com that have a threaded barrel if you want to put a suppressor on. This is a full metal slide, so the kick on this gun will be very powerful and very realistic, which is one of the reasons why I love this gun. Safety uh, switch. Red means it's ready to fire, and not red means it's unsafe. Um, since this is a double action pistol, um, when you're ready to fire, you can either pull the hammer back like so or you can um, do the cool way and you can you know pull it back like that on the back of the slide on the top of the slide there's the sights they're just white dots I know a lot of you guys are big on the serial numbers and trademarks um, there's a serial number on the left hand side of the pistol and there are KJW trademarks on both sides of the grip. I know you guys have seen this a lot so I'm gonna go over it really fast but um, you can take off the slide of this gun uh, it's pretty easy you just have to have the mag out first and then there's this button right here you press it down and on this side there's a switch you pull that down and then you can slide it forward and now the slide is off. On the bottom of the slide, there's this tiny hole right there where my finger is. And that's where you put the tiny Allen wrench to adjust your hop-up in. They recommend that you don't turn the uh, hop-up adjuster more than 90 degrees either way. Now, to put it back on, all you have to do is slide it on. And then that lever you use to uh, or slide it off, you just have to lift that up. And now it's back on. When it's out of ammo, it will lock back like this. On the left hand side of the gun, there's this little lever. Push that down and this, you know, the slide will go back into place and you can reload the trigger. It's really cool. You'll notice how when I pull the slide back, trigger is at a different position than before. And this is for a tra uh, faster trigger response. The mag release button is located right next, or right in between the grip and the uh, trigger, you just press that down and the mag will just simply fall out. The grip is rubberized so you get a better airsoft experience uh, when you're using this gun. That's basically all the facts I can give you guys. Um, so my opinion about this gun is uh, basically if you're looking for a gas blowback pistol do not look any further than this, especially if you want an M9. This gun is great. It's really easy to use. Uh, if, it's, if it's your first gas blowback pistol, this is the one to get. This is my first uh, gas blowback pistol. And so far, I've really loved using it. It's really, really fun to use. So yeah, that concludes my review on the KJW M9. If uh, you guys found this review to be helpful, uh, there are more to come, so please subscribe if you are looking into more Airsoft products. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I know this was a long review, but thanks for sticking around, and I will see you guys later. Bye.